All right, so yesterday we had two area teams in Ganado and Shiner advance to the state semifinals again this past weekend. Tonight we have three teams. Can they do the same? Again, we got Edna, Bay City, and Tidehaven. One of the teams I just mentioned there a minute ago, right, is the Tidehaven Tigers. Again, last season they went to the state championship game last year to face the Gunther Tigers. This season, nothing more than the same right now. They're 11 2 record and they beat East Bernard, remember, back for the district title there a couple weeks back. And Tidehaven is hoping to get again our athlete of the week there in Kale Russell. Can he play well? Well, Jason Duran, can he make enough plays to help the Tigers get the win tonight against a very tough opponent there in the Lexington Eagles? Now, Shiner, they took care of business there last night again, went getting a 14 0 just seconds in the quarter. They were shut out there for a while, some point down the field, so they needed a big play, right? And where did the big play come from? Well, special teams. Jarvis Williams saw some daylight and essentially put the nail air in Junction's coffin right there. Williams was obviously excited, right, himself, but even his fellow Comanches, who helped pave the way for his score. Um, I caught the ball. Um, we've been practicing all week. The uh, long snapper coming down as fast as he can. Snaps the ball, comes down. My friend Jake Simper, a guy to my right of me, got a great block. Um, I made a one move, uh, number 33, went the opposite way. And my friend Tyler Harvey got a great block, pushed the guy to the sideline. And I just, uh, just beat him with all my speed. Uh, Williams there, like I said, made some big time plays to get them a chance for a district title. But also, another player as well that made some plays too is how about defensive side Carson Schutte, right? He's the quarterback, but in the game yesterday, he had two interceptions. Yes, and that would help there again, Shiner, get that win there over Junction. So, plays DB as well as quarterback. And he says it was, you know, it's good to be able to do a lot of things in a variety of ways to help the team win. It's amazing. Our defense was spectacular tonight. Our D-line linebackers filled every gap that they could. They made plays. And then in the secondary, we gave a few pl pass plays, but stuff like that's going to happen. We just got to bend but not break like Coach B always tells us. We just come at, play every game like it's just another game, just another district game or whatever. And we're just going to keep doing that from here on out. Shiner is waiting to see who they'll play in the state semifinals. That game is actually going on right now between the Grapeland Sandys and the Premont Tigers. We will let you know later on who will Shiner play there in the state semifinals. Now, props up, like I mentioned, there, the Shiner and Carson Schutte, Jarvis Williams, they're getting a big time win. But tonight, the Edna Cowboys look to keep their season alive versus the Lano Yellow Jackets. And 25 News Now sports reporter Ray Robinson is at Hero Stadium to give us the rundown for tonight's game. Ray? Max, your Friday night football action brings us all the way to San Antonio, Texas as the Edna Cowboys are getting ready to take on the Lano Yellow Jackets. Edna, a team fresh off their 42-28 to victory against Randolph. Edna just being a team to prove that they can get the job done no matter what the cost is. They, are, they went this whole season undefeated, taking on Lano, a team who is no slouch either, suffering their only loss in the season, which was only in the second game of their season. So this looks to be a very fun game. Make sure you stay tuned in at the 10 p.m. newscast. I'll have first half Highlights some more kickoff is at 7 p.m. here at Hero Stadium. Max, back to you. All right, thanks, Wade. We can't wait to see all the action here tonight and who will advance there to the next round of the playoffs. We'll give you all full highlights. We'll give you some post-game interviews and more coming up there on 25 News Now Sports at 10 p.m. That's going to do it here for sports, though, for now. Don Shauna, back to you. Thank you, Max.